Hey everybody, welcome back to D-Zoned. Let us go ahead and get to wad Nathan. Alright, so we've got cross T dot wad. It's an E3 M5 replacement. That's kind of random. No text file. And this is in the original D-Zone. Well, let's give it a shot. Well, it was definitely a cross. It was definitely a pretty sizable kill count there. Huh. And then, I'm trying to place this midi. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I recognize this one. It did come from the Wadinator. <laughs> yeah. I should really, I really need to get around to um, fixing up the Wadinator so it actually shows what songs it picks. Okay, I thought I saw that wall being a little different. All right, so, um, nope. Ow. Still clip me. Oh, well. At least we have armor now. And chain gun. I like chain gun, especially in Doom 1. And, oh, hello. Ooh, I like it. I don't like this guy, but that's fine. All right, so let's grab these potions, these energy drinks. Monster energy. That's a lot of souls that have been lost to the sands of time. Hmm. Yeah, I, I hear that. Can you just calm down while I deal with these guys? Okay, you are being a pain in my ass, friend. So are you. All right. Okay, that's handled. So, fire blue, 10 out of, sorry, 11 out of 10. 69 out of 10, haha, <laughs> funny number. All right, good stuff. So, so far, this has been um, pretty decent on the action front. Very nice lighting, very dramatic. Doesn't look like there's a way back from here, at least not right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and refrain from going there and I'm gonna go into the fire blue cavern. Because, yeah, fire blue is basically the best thing since sliced bread. I'm not picking... No, you know what? I'm going to do that for the item credit. This map just looks too nice and moody to um, ruin it by use, uh, using the light amp goggles. Also, I can't jump down there, so I'm just going to go over here now. Oh, these bastards. I hate them. Also specters. Specters ruin everything, but thankfully there's a nice lit wall back there, so I could see them pretty well. Kind of reminds me of that one heretic map I played, where basically it was a mostly dark room with one light patch, and you had to fight a Molotar, and basically the only way that you could really effectively fight him is to just use his, uh, or use the uh, lit up area, just so you could see his silhouette. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Right, so, um... Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to go through the drink. Oh, hey, yellow key. To no one's surprise, that is Hurt Floor. It's nice to see a little bit of, uh, consistency in Doom stuff. What about these... <laughs> imps just kind of running around on the runway, but, uh, you know. Whatever makes them happy. Okay, do we want to pick off the imps? I think I kind of do. I'm enjoying this so far. So far, this is a rather nice map. Man, we've just gotten started. Oh, I <laughs> should have waited a second. Oh well, whatever. That's a lot of imps in uh, what appears to be a dining room. It's kind of primitive doom cute, but it works. Left all their energy drinks in the corner, though. I mean, that's kind of... Fine, I'll grab the thing. Ugh. There we go. Plenty of... Oh, hello. I did not expect to be able to jump down here. <laughs> I thought there'd be, a, like, a blocking line death or something, but there is not, so, uh... We're down here now. 
Beautiful. Ha! <laughs> Sucker. Dude, calm down. Whoops. Didn't actually mean to kill the imp that time. Oh well. Ooh. Did not mean to get hit by that fireball. Oh boy. Starting to really regret picking up that invisibility sphere. Blur sphere equals sad. Whoa. Oh, jeez. I mean, granted... Oh, freaking hell. Taking on a Baron with a Blur Sphere isn't as bad as a Cyber Demon with a Blur Sphere, but still. Now these guys... Oh, of, co <laughs> of course when I finally get to hit scanners, the Blur Sphere runs out. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Life isn't fair. Yeah, we're gonna chain gun these guys. We're running out of shells. Just kidding. We are no longer running out of shells. So what is up there? Seems like a pretty expansive map. Actually, this, uh... You know... Now that I think about it, I think the guy intentionally made it as a Holy Cathedral replacement. Like, I don't think this is part of a bigger thing. I think he just probably hated Unholy Cathedral and wanted to make something better. So far, yeah, definitely better than Unholy Cathedral. Because that's another thing that's kind of giving me that vibe is that it has the same general aesthetic, like it's got the marble hellscape type of thing going on. So yeah, kind of digging it. Wait a minute. That? Oh, jeez, oh man. It's also a lot tougher and it's not just because it's okay <laughs> watch out it still does that thing where the arch file walls do 20 damage to you but yeah anyway it's tougher for reasons or for actual decent reasons because <sighs> I mean with unholy cathedral oh my god with Unholy Cathedral, it's like you just run out of patience with that map because it's just so... I don't know, like I know how to navigate it now, so it's not as bad. But I know doing like a, U like a UV Max run of it would just be, well, an experience. Cause yeah, uh... I know how to get through it quickly, we'll put it that way. It's kind of like the Chasm. I don't mind the chasm when it's just like a straight up run, but when I'm trying to just basically run the whole thing and max it out, it's it a little tedious. It's just a lot of back and forth, and oh my god, that's a lot of caco. Worst part is this is a non-linear map, so I kind of get the impression that I probably could have a better weapon at this point. I don't know. Yay, wood paneling. Hmm. Okay. So funny, even when, even when I have the blur sphere, I always just have that inclination to shoot the head scanners first. Oh, there's so many lost souls. Oh my god. I mean, I'm glad I have the chain gun for moments like this, but... Plasma would make it a lot faster. Not that I usually use the plasma when it comes to... Oh. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, not that I usually use the plasma in those cases, but... Eh. If there's that many, I think I'd make an exception. Well, at least I'm getting plenty of shotguns. Okay, I was gonna say, can I item bump that? No, not so much. Okay, now we're just moving on to straight, like, murder porn hell. All the corpses on the walls and stuff. Alright, well we know there's at least going to be some sort of cell weapon. Unless this is meant to be played continuous with the rest of the uh, id software stuff. Which is always a possibility. Oh my god. Get me out of this corner. Is there one more? I guess not. Hmm. Jeez, it's got like little 
Oh, at least it's a fast crusher. Alright, this is not ideal, but we can make it work. See, again, you notice I didn't go on some profanity-laden rant about that crusher? It's because it's a fast crusher, so if it takes you by surprise, it's not a big deal. <sighs> I wish more 90s Watt authors would have realized that. There we go. Here. Oh no. Okay. Alright. That's fine. Let's just keep moving. <laughs> just don't want to deal with them with these weapons. That looks like a. No. Oh. <laughs> huh. So what's up here? Oh. Anything over. Oh. I don't have a rad suit, so, um, damn it. Hmm. And I'm thinking this author is pretty good about using the right floor for things, so yeah. Probably going to want a radiation suit for that. Or invuln, or some other sort of analog. <sighs> so, wait a minute. Are these literally just windows into there and... It's a little strange, but... Yeah, whatever. Hold up a second. Where does that lead? Somewhere I've been to. I mean, it's a fairly short run, so it shouldn't do too much damage to me. It's 10 damaging... Oh, okay. It's 10 damaging floor. It's not too out of whack. I don't want to deal with those barons now. I think I kind of do. Let's get him out of the way. Wait. We have a crusher right here. Hopefully they'll follow me over here. And into the crusher. Oh, jeez. Just die. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for your help, shotgunner. Alright. I had to have done a decent amount of, uh, hurt to him. Hopefully. Oh, I see you up there. Ow. Fuck you. Alright, so... Do that. Now, uh... I don't know what that switch... Oh, okay. I know what the switch did! Yay! Oh, wait, what? No, the switch is over there. I'm smart. Uh, right when it kind of feels like I'm running low on shotgun ammo, I end up just running over a bunch of shotguns. It's pretty great. Oh, I'm totally going to get myself killed. Whoa, bouncy, bouncy. Yay. It's nice being the sniper for once. So we definitely do not want to go into the crusher. That would be bad. There we go. Oh, hi. I have a good weapon for dealing with the likes of you. Muy perfecto. Ah, <sighs> good stuff. All right, wait a minute. Over in, what? That looks like it's can, no, it's not. It's just really close. Damn. All right. So what's this little bit of nut nuttiness? Uh, that looks like hurt floor right underneath there, but I can't really see it very well. I don't know if I trust that. I'm going to wait until I have a little bit more health. Because I don't know how, but for some reason, I'm not doing super well on health. It's almost like I took a decent Baron projectile and a shotgun blast to the face. Pretty much one right after another. That is an exit wall right there. Ooh, that's a big oopsie. At least I assume it is, considering it's just normal wall texture. But, uh, yeah. 
Don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. Especially when you have a pretty good map. I mean, quite good, really. It's, this is a... Uh, it's been a decent challenge. Especially for the time. I mean... It's a hell of a lot more interesting than the map it replaces. Which is, again, one of the reasons why I kind of think that, that might be the intent. But, uh... I don't want to pick that up. Okay, it's just... It looks out into that big room that... I kind of caught a glimpse of before, sort of. But yeah, the 76 armor I have is still blue armor. Oh yeah, that's a red key. Yeah. That could be listed a little bit better, but I mean, at least Doom tells you. So, it's kind of nice. So that's that area with the pinkies. There was that switch over on the other side. I wonder if that does anything interesting. Yeah, right here. Did I? No, I didn't go up here. Ooh, sneaky. Keeping him contained. Do those go down? No, they don't. They're just... They're ambush dudes. Nice, nice. Okay, and we're back in the dining room. Got it. Haven't been through this door yet. More lost souls. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Die, thank you. Die, thank you. <laughs> Die, please, and thank you. Yeah, that was pretty obvious. Not gonna lie. Even I was able to find it. Hold up. Found the plasma rifle. Kind of looks like you were almost meant to come to this room from another side. Like right here. Hmm. Nice little secret chain going on there. Right. Ooh, toasty. Also, I think this is the, one of the first rooms I've seen in this that just genuinely doesn't look that good. <laughs> I don't know. Could be better. Still, not horrific. Alright, so... I got better weapons, that's good. Kind of wish I would have gotten them sooner, but... Uh, what you gonna do, right? Wanna cry about it? And plasma rifle is, as we know... Oh, okay, that was a nice trap. Anyway, the plasma rifle, as we all know, is a fine weapon. I really like that. That looked freaking cool. <laughs> uh, right over here. Okay. Um, no. There we go. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, now I'm kind of curious. Can we... Do we have a way of resetting that, or do we just... I think we have to just go around. Wait, can we do... Oh, yeah, we can. <gasps> Look at that. Mamma mia. And there is a teleporter down there. Yeah, what the hell? Let's go for it. That is a nice little secret, I gotta say. I mean, unmarked, but, you know, point still stands. So, um, yeah. I don't think that'd be necessarily... Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get an early plasma rifle out of it. Yeah, the, the author of this wad definitely knew what they were doing. I mean, obviously, that <laughs> kind of goes without saying, right? Oh. That's different. Huh. Okay. And I remember that didn't open, still doesn't. We have the blue key now, so let's go in here. Nope. Nope. Oh, jeez. How did I... Not a single pellet hit either of them. Holy crap. Epic fail. Ooh, I should be ashamed of myself. 
Oh well, I actually managed to kill something with barrels, so... That kind of makes up for it, I think. So what is over yonder? Some sort of, uh, very, very possessed control room. Okay. Fall down, please. Thank you. Awesome. Do these do anything? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. This room. What does this do? <laughs> nothing. Okay. Well, nothing when I shoot it. I'm sure it does something when I, you know, don't shoot it. Oh. Okay. Hold on. There's more stuff over there, and I'm very intrigued by it. What about this? Can't shoot that one either. Huh. I don't know. Oh no. Oh, thank God. Okay. Whew, I would've been very sad if that, oh. <laughs> Forgot to have it change the texture, I guess. No, not a death trap. Holy crap. It's a 90s wad and the author resisted the urge to put a death trap there. You know, I think I'm in love. Oh shit. It's using the shells because there's I have so many of them. <laughs> yeah. I mean I'm not gonna say this is the most difficult wad in the world. Well, at least not by today's standards. It would have been pretty spicy back in the day, though. Oh, this looks suspicious. Alright. So, um, some of that old Doom Power Fantasy, I'm assuming. Man, getting some pretty bad Berserk rolls there. Jeez, oh man. Like, they're all taking three hits. Okay, there we go. I mean, I guess the whole thing for, um... Techniques for punching pinkies and stuff were a bit less refined back then. Not that it really matters when they surround you, because you can't bait them, but, eh, you know. What does this say? Something rules. It rules nice. That was a cool little shout-out to, uh... To the folks who made this fine game. Oh no, what's going on? Oh, okay. <laughs> I get it. Oh, and then it disappears from the auto map. You should have had it so it just went down like... I, I, I'm speaking to the authors if the author's watching this video. But, uh... Should have just made it so that it just... Went down to like 8 above the floor. That way the message would have still stayed on the auto map. Yeah, well. Well, we have the red key. There's 18 enemies left. Uh, there's a secret thing over there that I'm not sure how to get to, but... Yeah. We'll see if we can find it real quick. Should be... <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I remember. Okay, I know what room that is. Sure, we'll just try humping this side of the wall, just in case. There's also the possibility that we access it from down here. Well, that was worth a shot, but but alas, it was not meant to be. Oh, there was also that one tunnel that I mentioned I'd go back there if I got a little bit more health. I think I have a little bit more health now. So, where was that again? Um, I think it was back over... Yeah, no, no, that was the blue key. Okay, let's see. So, um, that would have been... Oh yeah, it was right there, okay. So I was right next to it, beautiful. So it's right over yonder, out this way, and in here. Hmm. 
Oh, is this non-damaging floor? Oh, it is. Okay. It's kind of a dark maze. Yeah, that was the thing I was worried about, because I, I saw the floor moving. Like some sort of... Oh. It's starting to make sense. So there's probably a switch that raises that thing up. Is it shaped like a swastika? Not really. It's... <laughs> Kind of looked like that at a glance. It might have been just a quote-unquote wolf 3D tribute. Hmm. wonder if that's just one of those leap of faith things where you just kind of walk over the ledge and it... That would be a no. Hmm. <sighs> Let's see. What if I just run straight? Or not run, but maybe just like... Tiptoe. There's also a possibility that there might be... Yep, there it is. Hmm. Hello? Oh, hi. I have to say, those monster traps are... I know I mentioned, like, in... Tuesday's video where it felt a little bit strange but if you're in a situation where you could end up making noise that is a good way of taking the player by surprise aside from the sound of the door opening of course all right so red door is over this way well this seems exciting I think I want to let my invuln run out just in case there's like a cyber demon or something although that would be a bad idea if it were a spider. I don't know. Wouldn't be too bad. There's at least cover in the room. But if I... If there is a cyber demon, Invis is just basically going to kill me. So, yeah. This gives me a time to dispatch some of these folks. Of course, then again, if this guy is going for basically an... Uh, bleh. An id map replacement, like kind of seems to be doing, then yeah, that's probably not going to end with a boss fight, although there are a lot of rockets. Mm -hmm. And rocket duels were a little bit more of a common thing back then. This is a scary amount of rockets. Maybe I get flooded by barons. Maybe it's something that benign. I really doubt it. I mean, there's two freaking soul spheres over here. And a ton of cells. I'm gonna go ahead and stock up on cells. Well, okay. There's four enemies left. Really? <laughs> it seemed a little bit, uh, a little strange, but... Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Oh. Here we go. Oh. What? Okay. I can hear it. Ooh! I'm a spider demon. Or <laughs> cyber demon. Alright, well it does end with a cyber fight. Should be a very easy one by today's standards. I also love how the author did that thing where it ends with a computer area map. That way you could just sort of, uh, yeah, you know, find the things you missed. Okay, well, that was difficult. So, yeah. Oh no, a cyber aimon. So what did those do? Did that oh, probably open the doors. Okay. Well, there's one enemy left, which I'm very curious about. Oh, I get it now. Okay, that makes sense. All right, that wasn't a switch exit line def. It was a teleporter exit. Okay. All right, so it wasn't as, uh, I was worried for, I was worried over nothing, basically. All right, so we got that area there, which, um, all right, well, let's just go ahead and get the rest of the secrets. Might as well. I've been basically fawning over this map the whole time, so I want to see it through to the end. 
Also have to remember there is a soul sphere back at the end. So, yeah. Wait a minute. Um, oh, that's right. I can get back down there, thankfully. Hmm. Nope, that's the way in there. And then over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, this this was still a really cool sequence. Alright, cool. So we go over here, and there's... In theory, there's a room that connects over... Oh, okay. Oh, neat. Oh, found the last enemy. Well, there might be so there might be lost souls, but... Yeah, let's just kind of hope they aren't there aren't any. How about that? All right, so way over here, there's a thing over this way. Man, it's funny going back here because we've never actually had to explore this area again. Oh, man, if only I would have found this sooner. Oh well, I mean, not a bad little rocket secret. All right, what's next? So we've got, oh, another one over here. Man. It's a whale of a fail on my part, I guess. Berserk, early Berserk would have been nice. And a rad suit. Okay. The rad suit is not super necessary, I'd say, but eh, I mean, Situations like this, not a bad thing. Okay. So we got, all right, what else do we have? There's only one area that I haven't, or one secret. Oh no, I got all the secrets. Never mind, never mind. What about the last item? Hmm. Or the yeah, because I, I I know where this the last supercharge is. Uh, wait, no, not this way. No, <laughs> it's back here. Hold on, do I see a blue? Oh no, it's just <laughs> just caco corpses. No big deal. No big deal. All right, down here. So we've got. Were there any other items in here that I did not grab? I mean, there's this guy here, obviously. Oh, light amp. Okay. Well, there we go. Oh, God. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> oh, man, that makes the game look fugly. All right, well, let's go to the exit. Okay, that was cross T dot wad, and holy shit, was that a banger. That was so good. I mean, I could have just been in Doom, and I wouldn't have batted an eye. It, it was just... Consistently good all the way through. Um, actually better than most of the maps in episode 3, I think. Especially better than the one it replaced. Damn, I, I mean, just... What can I say? I mean, I've been gushing about this thing for the past 32 minutes, so I, I think I'm just going to let that speak for itself. 10 out of 10. I love it. I absolutely love this. But anyway, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you want to play this, download uh, links are in the description below, yada, yada, yada. But anyway, take it easy.